You guys see that? I really like that. So. Hi guys, I'm trying out this um, experiment where I'm filming from my laptop. I'm gonna see if maybe I can make a, not a tutorial, but a process video. So this is, um, this is gonna be process video number one. And I'm experimenting with uh, the Tim Holtz Distress Watercolor Card Stock. And I'm using my um, set of uh, Koi watercolors. It's in 24 colors. And so I'm gonna be using this and seeing what I can do or what just to look at the process. Um, and we'll get started from there, I guess. So this is very, uh, this paper soaks up really water really well. So it really retains it really well. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna try and do. I guess for now, I'm just gonna do watercolor washes with water and the watercolor. Um, and hopefully from there, I mean, something will happen. I don't know. And I just saw that this is darker. Color's really pretty. And hopefully, you'll be able to see what I'm trying to do. This, this, um, watercolor paint is pretty, um, seems like it's grainy, and I want to look for something that's not so grainy. I don't know if watercolor is supposed to be grainy or not, but in case they're, I guess I'll have to read up on it or go to an actual art store where people know what they're talking about, not just helping me find a product. Um, and see what I can find. Um, so, I think that's as blue as I want to get it. And from here, I kind of want to go into a gradient color. And maybe let it drip some more. So, maybe I can use a different brush. So, this is my first video using my, my laptop. So, hopefully, I'll be able to... Um, It'll be able to show the details and the, uh, I've seen a lot of really beautiful cards made out of the watercolor, and so I was hoping to join in on the fun. I mean, they're really exp inspirational. They really uh, make you want to pick up stuff and play along. So that's what I'm trying to do here. And uh, I'm just finding some empty spots in the um, I'm just finding some empty spots in the uh, paper. And I'm just trying to let that color run. And seeing where I can add any of this. And hopefully it won't muddy up. So, that's what I'm gonna try and do. And I think I wanna change colors. So, I'm going to wipe it off on my hand because right now I don't have any paper towels. I really didn't um, 
really didn't prepare for this video, so um, I think I want to add. I don't have any like turquoise or any fuchsias, I don't think. Although that kind of looks like it, so we'll go with that. See how that goes. And that ran into that color. Darn it. Oops. Sorry, guys. Hopefully I won't use so many. Well, I'm going to... I know I can't use any bad words, so... <laughs> Maybe I'll try to be a little more quiet. We can run along this way. Let's see what that does. I kind of like that. Oh, I don't. Now, why not? You gotta not be afraid of things. We're just experimenting here, so there should be no reason why. I can't do that. So, the one thing I find about this aqua brush or the um, water in the barrel of the brush is that there's a lot of, there's a lot less control in, in where you want your water color to go. So if you're new to it, as I'm finding that I as I'm finding with this experience myself, is that you might want to try, I mean if you're not okay with this here, is you might want to try to use a dry brush instead. And I like how the more into the blues I go, though, it changes colors. So, it's nice. I like it. I might want to try on that some here, since that's looking really pale. And I want kind of something really intense. So... Maybe I'll add some more blue. Oh, let's see, and the thing that I did here was that I don't need to mix it with the with that fuchsia, so I really don't know what I need to do in order to transition that color. I'd like to. But, not too sure. So, I think I did it here. Maybe I might have made it too fuchsia. Pick up some fuchsia. So I'm going to make some over on here on the palette. And maybe that'll make me the purple that I'm looking for, that in-between color. So hopefully that works. And it seems like it has. The good thing about water is if they're still wet, you can still mix them up pretty well. Which it looks like it did. So, let's see. Honestly, it's looking like a tie-dye shirt, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this background. I guess it's going to be a background for a card. Father's Day is coming up, but it does have a lot of um, pink. So maybe I'll try and bring it back to the blue. I mean, that's as all you can do, right? I really like that. I wish I could make a close-up of that. How that looks. Can you see that? I really like that. So. 
Mm. Oh, it's bleeding. I like how the, the color kind of bleeds into the other color. So. But I'm trying to keep the blue really intense. some green okay that's not the kind of green I want it's like a Kelly green I want something more a little more bright than that really intense green I'll have to clean my brush there. Maybe add some white. Okay. And that just made it pastel. That's not what I was going for. But that's the... Maybe if I add yellow. See, this is all going to be a process for me because I'm, I don't know about mixing paints. I never took an art class. And this whole picture might be blown out because of the the sun. And I hope that's not the case because it's kind of hard to see the reflection of... Ooh, that just became muddy. Oh, well. Okay, well. Maybe I should let that dry for a minute. But I can't let good enough be. I'm going to try and keep picking at it until I can get as close to it as I can. And I wish I had another brush, which I do, but I don't want to keep adding brushes to the mix. I'm going to have to. So here's a yellow. Yellow brush. Oops. Okay. Well, kind of like this. Not that. That's a plane, guys. So I'm gonna leave that to dry because I still don't know how to stop and collect all these movies to, or these movie clips together. But for now, I really like the process, and of course, I'm gonna stop it there. I want to leave those light colors, light. So I'm just kind of moving everything. Hopefully everything will stay up. Did I go out of frame? I did. I did go out of frame. Sorry guys. So anyway, I'm just trying to let the water color run a little bit and I think I'm going to stop it there so there's my first watercolor page it got muddied up right here on the corner 
and I guess that's a learning process to not make it so wet. But um, this, this is really soft and this is really contrasting right here on the end. So um, that's it for now guys. I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see if I can make more of these. And uh, have a good week. Bye.